Now let's talk about authentication policies. And there are three ways we can use to authenticate in the API management. Either we can use basic authentication. This is where we are going to provide the username and password for the backend service. And this can only work when we have a custom HTTPS web service and we want to authenticate with it. However, basic authentication is not a good way to go. Let's go ahead and see how can we do this. Let's go ahead and add policy and click on authenticate with basic. And let's say you are going to provide a username here and password. Let's go ahead and save our changes. As you can see here, we are getting an error because we have put this policy in the wrong place. So where we should put this policy? If we get back to the document, it's again a SAS inbound section and it can be applied at all scopes. So let's go ahead and put this in the inbound section and then let's save our changes. And same thing for authentication with client certificate. Let's go ahead and add it and then you need to supply your thumbprint. And of course, you need to place it in the inbound section. Both of these authentication methods will not work with Azure function because Azure function using function keys for authorization and managed identities for authentication. And these two ways of authentication will only work with custom HTTPS web service. So I'm going to remove these two lines and add an authentication with managed identity. Let's save our changes. Now let's see how we authenticate using managed identities. So let's go to managed identities and there are two ways either using system or user. Let's choose system assigned and let's turn it on and save our changes. And same thing we need to do with the function apps. So let's go to the function app and click on LinkedIn profile and select authentication and authorization and turn it on app service authentication and make the authentication using Azure Active Directory. And let's configure it. Let's choose express configuration and create a new Active Directory app called LinkedIn profile and let's create it. And let's save our changes. Now let's go back to the API management and test it. Let's go to APIs, LinkedIn profile API, create profile operation, and let's send a test request. And as you can see, you are getting an unauthorized error. And if we look at the trace and try to search for managed identity, we will not find anything in the trace line here for authentication. Or let's look for authentication. It doesn't use managed identity that we have specified. And to fix this, let's go to the policies of the create profile operation and let's add a policy. And let's copy this managed identity policy and put it in the inbound policies for create profile operation. We still need to replace this URL with our function app URL. And let's save our changes and let's test create profile operation one more time. As you can see, you are getting 200 response with our text. And if we look at the trace and search for managed identity, we will find that our managed identity took place for authentication between the API management and the function app. So in this lecture, we have seen how we can authenticate between the API management and the backend function using basic authentication or client certificate or managed identity. That's it for this lecture. I hope you enjoyed it and please feel free to join me in the next lecture.